Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part 2. So basically all that's happening right now is Victoria's having her plasma juice and Harry also just had some breakfast too. So um, I think Victoria has work today, she does. She doesn't get much money, she only earns 20 simoleons per hour. She starts at 1pm so uh, she'll probably head off about uh, 1 o'clock I'm guess. Uh, no, 12 o'clock, her carpool will come to her if she isn't, even has a carpool, that is. But yeah, we're going to have Harry just get ready. He can take an evil shower. She's going to eat some autumn salad, which is fine with me. So go do that. Where's Victoria gone? Why is she out here? We really... Oh, she's formalised because she's... Um, proper so basically proper sims do formalize themselves quite a lot and change out of their everyday wear we're gonna actually quickly buy a sun thingy for her because we don't want her to burn up in the heat and we all know that vampires do so um we need a sun parasol basically uh let's go for that one it's red she wears red a lot we'll grab that and put it down there and then put it in her inventory there we go why has she got a newspaper what is she doing let's sell her camera as well this is gonna get us more money I forgot that they all have cameras in their inventory so we can get rid of all of those they actually uh, she actually has some beeswax and she has two honey um, yeah, so she harvested the bees late last night before she went to bed. We're probably going to have going to have her um feed the bees. She's already stung, so it doesn't really matter if she actually gets stung again. And then I think we'll have Harry maybe come out here and we'll see what he can do with his wand. Um, that sounds rude as hell, but <laughs> it wasn't meant to be rude. Um, we're just going to see what he can do. Um, Tate, why don't you come and serve some... Um, actually, I really don't trust you to serve yourself some waffles. So why don't you eat some leftover autumn salad? Because I do not trust him to make his own food. He'd probably burn the house down. So Harry's going to head out here, and then he has his wand. So we're going to see what he can do. We'll make that his preferred wand. Can he not actually use it yet? I don't think he's got to a level where he can use it. Wait, that's a classic, and this is a Vedant. Which one did I buy? So maybe, I think witches come with one anyway. Um, I can't actually remember which one I gave to him, which is a little bit annoying, because <laughs> um, one was quite good. We're going to research alchemy though, I guess. We'll do that and see what he can find. I actually changed my mind, guys. We're not going to have him work on his alchemy. He's going to actually work on his spells so that he can start using his um, wand and stuff like that. So we're going to have him play with magic and basically we're going to have him work on his magic rather than anything else. Oh, he fails. <laughs> Hopefully he'll get better over time. Ooh. Go Harry. He's in it. I hope he's good. Um, he wants to perform a stunt show on his broom, which is cool. Um, oh crap, I got rid of that alchemy thing. We have a mm, full moon in one day, which is quite terrifying. Um, yeah, so we've got a full moon coming, I think, which is crazy. Oh, come on, Harry, you're rubbish. Faye, why don't you, you need to use the toilet, and then why don't you, um, what should we have her do? Maybe throw a fairy house party. This, we really need to get to know more people. She knows Gwendolyn, I don't know how she met her. Um, she knows Doreen Caliente, because she's her boss. 
And she also knows Gwendolyn. I don't know when we got her. Like, when we met her, but apparently we did. The path to magical power is a bumpy and sometimes dangerous one, but playing with magic and casting charms, curses and spells is worth the risk. Harry has started down the path to magical mastery by learning the good luck charm. He can also use conversion ritual to magically change one collectible into another different collectible. That's cool. Uh, Tate, I think what we're going to do with you today is we're going to have you transform into a werewolf and then we're going to have him hunt, I think. See what he can find out and about. She's having a party over here with her uh, fairy friends. Maybe we'll visit the Fae with Fae. I can't believe I called her Fae and like basically everything based around fairies in this game is called that. So there we go. Tate's back in his werewolf state. Tate Wolseley's senses are running wild. He can see more clearly, catch new scents on the wind and hear the slightest sounds. With time and practice, Tate may be able to improve his newfound werewolf abilities. Okay, so we're going to have him change outfit into his athletic wear. <laughs> and then I think we'll have him hunt solo. He currently looks like Jacob out of Twilight with his like ripped shorts. But we're going to see what he can do. And Harry, can you practice again? So, um... What should we have you do? Try to conjure another poisoned apple. Nope, that's just an apple. I'm fairly sure. Or maybe it was a poisoned one. No, it was just a normal apple. He didn't manage to do it. Play with magic again. I think we have the good luck charm. Oh, she's asleep. Why is she asleep? Oh well, I guess she can sleep for a bit longer before... She goes to work. How long does she have left before work? Three hours. And she's in a fairly good mood. I think what we'll have her do is probably drink before she goes to work so that her thirst isn't completely down and she's not going to like wither up. It was an okay hunt for Tate Woolsey. He found an alabaster. Ooh, what's an... It's a jewel. No, don't scratch. Don't you dare scratch. We have ladybirds. Are they ladybirds? Catch one, Tate. They look like ladybirds. Or maybe they're just like beetles. Let's see what they are. <laughs> He's just talking to it. It's a ladybug. Yay. Just caught his first insect. Um, Go back and hunt again. We're going to have to definitely start working on Tate's pack that's for sure and what was her lifetime wish she wants to um she wants to work on her charisma so we're gonna do that we're gonna practice her speech for world peace victoria can you wake up and have a quick meal of plasma juice harry how are you doing buddy he wants to buy a new magic wand. I literally just bought you one. He wants to cast a conversion spell on a plantable ingredient. That's also something we need to work on. We need to get up our gardening skill. Look at Tate over here just hunting. What a babe. Hopefully he'll find some good stuff. What does he have? He has an alabaster. Although it is not the most precious of gems, alabaster has been used for centuries to create priceless vases and perfume bottles. What did that notification say? It was a cold trail for Tate Wolseley, and he didn't find anything. Better luck next time. That's fine. Victoria, head off to work, please. Oh, nice work outfit. You are working, that girl. <laughs> That is so not Victoria, or Supernatural for that matter. That's a top from Into the Future, which is not the greatest of expansion packs. Um, let's just leave that there. Harry, where are you going? You're bragging about your broom riding. What a D-bag. 
comes to be doing. Okay, so that invigorating elixir it makes him stay awake for a long time. And I'm fairly sure they're friends. Oh no, they're not. He just met a werewolf. Okay, so she has gone to work. I guess I'll show you her location of her work. So we work in this gypsy caravan, which is very, very cool. Work. Go to work. Go to work. Why? What, what are you doing, woman? Get in there. And what should we do? Meet a clientele, I think we should do. I don't know why she left and then came out again. It's a little bit weird. But we'll start meeting some of our people. Hopefully we'll do well. Um, she is practicing her world speech, which is good because she needs to get up her charisma and definitely, definitely meet some people. That's for sure. Tate, did you knock that over? Harry, come and pick that up, please. And he's just going to have a ton of apples. Oh, he actually made a poison apple that time. Well done. Um... Let's plant one of these bad boys. We'll start our garden. We'll get that going, I think. So plant that here. And then you can plant a mandrake. Plant that there. And we'll just plant all of these. Definitely get our garden going a bit more. Because then we can uh, definitely get a little bit better on that front, I think. Hopefully. Faye Bloom just grasped the basic of charisma. That's good. How's she feeling, actually? <coughs> She's feeling okay. Uh, Tate, stop ruining our furniture. We're going to have to flick you on the nose if you don't stop. He wants to visit the Vault of Antiquity. Ooh, maybe we'll do that. I think we should go do that. Visit the Vault of Antiquity. I'm guessing that's it's going to be at the graveyard from the picture of it. Oh no, it's here near the library. Ooh, let's go. Um, What should we do? Research the supernatural. I think that's because he is a supernatural fan, so he basically wants to learn everything there is to know about supernaturals which is fine with me oh the festival here is actually really cute it's spread out into like four quarters that's really cute i like it however it does look pretty creepy because it is next to all of this stuff um check the lunar horoscope let's do that as well we're just gonna Explore everything. There's so much to explore in this town. Look at him running. <laughs> oh, Tate. We should probably have changed him back into a human before he came out and did all of this stuff, but oh well. I'm sure people won't mind seeing a random werewolf running around. He steps into the Vault of Antiquity and is overwhelmed by the number of books within. So much knowledge in such a small place, he closes his eyes and reaches for a book. Tate Wolsey has the opportunity to answer two long-standing questions about vampires. Why are they always snappy dresses? Why are they such snappy dresses and why do they like the dark so much? Uh, why darkness? I'm guessing it's because they burn in sunlight, <laughs> but who knows? She threw a great party, apparently. That's cute. I'm glad she had a good fairy party. Harry, are you just brooding? Horoscopes. Oh, horoscopes. The basics of fortune telling is all in the horoscopes. Master reading the horoscope and your sim will be well on their way to become a world-renowned fortune teller. Okay, we can read that. Harry, you are so depressing. He's just sat out here. Ooh, collect that. Some logic problems are tougher than others. 
Tate Woolsey should try again with a higher logic skill. What? I don't want to work on a logic skill. That's a boring skill to work on. I don't want to do that. Tate, can you dig like this up or is it nothing? And Harry, you can't do anything with those as of yet, which is fine. Do we have anything around? We have a seed. Uh, we can cast a spell. I think we should try and cast the conversion ritual. Tate Wolseley really embraced the supernatural and is feeling a little loony right now. That's cool. Power study. I am going to be reading out so much in this and I apologise. But there's a lot of notifications to read. Ooh, that didn't go well. Harry Elric just took his first step towards becoming a great witch. Uh, okay, so did he, like, get a skill level? I'm confused. Maybe not. And Victoria has left work, so we'll have her come home. She actually didn't meet anyone. <laughs> she's feeling fine, though, so I think once she's home, we'll have her, um probably read that book that she has to do. Harry, okay, you're about to use the bathroom. That means Faye, you have to leave. Can you clean up this uh, thing? Thank you. Harry doesn't have a broom, does he? I don't think he does, but we have a lot of money because I basically just sold all that extra belonging. So I think we'll buy him a broom wherever they may be. I'm fairly sure they're in transport. Yeah, they are. Um, there's like a ton. This is like in Harry Potter where there's like the best, um, the best broom. I think we're gonna get Harry the best one, which is this Zoom Sweeper Pegasus. I'm fairly sure. Uh, that's a speed seven, which is really good. Um, We'll go for this one. This is a cool looking one. But where should we put it? Because we literally have no room in our house. Seriously, like where can it go? I'm confused. Does it have to go outside? Why can we not place it anywhere? Hello? Oh, do you need a broom stand? Yeah. Congratulations, Molly. You're a dumbass. <laughs> Where's the broom stands? Um, where are they? This could take a while to find. Because it's me. Mooring post. We don't want that. That's for... Uh, where the hell... Oh, broom stand. Silly me. I guess we'll have this by the... Well, I was going to say we'll have this by the front door. But never mind. We'll stick it in their room. And then back down to the brooms. Um, yeah. There's probably better ones. Or maybe this is the best one. I think it is the best one. So our sims always get the best. We'll put that on there. So he now has his broom that he can use. I guess I'll show this off to you guys once he's um, finished up. Faye, I told you to clean that up. Clean that up right now. And Victoria, can you read that book? Thank you. Where's Tate? I think he's still in the library. We're going to have him head home. And uh, yeah. Harry, did I want you to do anything? I didn't. But you can serve some mac and cheese. Please do not burn the house down, my friend. I am begging you. She's about to throw another fairy party. No, you aren't. You're about to clean yourself because you've not had a shower all day, you stinky little fairy. So, yeah, I think tomorrow is actually going to be a full moon, which means we'll have zombies. Oh, he has a broom. What? Why does he... Did he just use his broom or what? 
I'm confused as to how he got a broom. Unless he like automatically uses this. Riding a broom is the only way to travel. They pollute less, turn some heads, and best of all, they can fly. Tate, stop ruining our, ruining our furniture. Turn back into a human. Right now. Then he's gonna stop wrecking our furniture, thank goodness. Good. I'm fine with that. What just happened? What? What just happened? Recent memory is all a blur, but Tate can't shake this feeling that he was just doing something incredibly awesome. So that's because he was a werewolf. He can't really remember. These sims are going to spend so long looking out of windows. I don't even know why. They just do. I think it's because they're both brooding, so they just stare out of windows. You know, as as you do. Who doesn't like to stare out of windows? Actually, to be fair, I used to do that in school all the time, so I cannot judge. And Harry just burnt the mac and cheese. God damn it, Harry. I trusted you. You ruined my trust. Did she read that book? She did not finish it. <sighs> These sims. Can you eat some leftover autumn salad, considering he just charred our mac and cheese? We'll have that tomorrow, I guess. She's throwing a house party. She's obsessed. Oh, and uh, I think Tate just walked in on her having a shower. Awkward. Does she drink honey? Yes. What is it about the sweet, sweet taste of honey that just makes life seem a little bit more bearable? I don't know. What is it indeed? Make this Harry's preferred vehicle. And then, can we, like, just put this in his inventory? We can. And then, I think... Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. Um, can't we just, like, do a stunt show? Ooh, there's a magic broom arena. I have not played Supernatural in so long. I've literally forgotten all of this. Where's the arena? Where is it? I've completely forgot because I barely ever play in Moonlight Falls. That's the gypsy wagon. We have a horse arena. We have the fae. I literally cannot find it. Where is it? I haven't even seen anything that looks like in an arena. Belle's Barbell House. Um, the Toadstool. Moonlight Point. Oh, no, didn't mean to go to the graveyard. That's awkward. Definitely didn't mean to go there. Red Velvet Lounge. That sounds like a... um. A vampire type of place. So we'll probably have Victoria head on over there. I literally can't see the arena. Am I just being really, really stupid? I probably am. I've probably gone past it like 20,000 times and you're probably screaming at me because that's what I tend to do in these Let's Plays. And oh, 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 nope. Stadium. Yes, I found it. Um, wait, so he can't, hmm, oh well, I'll look more into that, <laughs> I am all over the place at the minute, uh, but yeah, he has poisoned apples, I'm quite scared to uh, give them to anyone, and what if it does kill them, I don't think it does though, I think it just sends them into like a deep sleep, I'm going to test that on someone else. I am not testing that on one of our own sims. That's for sure. Because I do not want to risk it. Um, Tate, you smell. <laughs> Probably because you've been a werewolf the whole day. Fate is like party central. Listen to her and all her fairy friends. Oh, they're talking about Harry. The fairies love a little bit of Harry. What's he doing? 
He's talking about the hail. <laughs> Bless him. Um, let's play. Let's play a little trick. Play hothead. Let's do it. And we'll brighten his day. <coughs> so let's see what hothead is. We'll see what this fairy trick is. <laughs> oh no! Ooh! That looks painful. Sorry, Harry, but we had to test it out on someone, and the someone was you. <laughs> His face, though. He looks like Tate right now. He looks like he should be a werewolf. Bless him. Now I feel mean. You okay there, Harry? Too spicy. There's spicy, and then there's complete mouth acoplet. Ooh, his like, mouth's on fire and everything. Ooh, those tricky fairies. They sure pulled a fast one and Harry Elric. He'll always remember the time the fairy just got the upper hand. Oh no. That made their uh, relationship go down a little bit. Oh, come on. I want to get it back up. Um, Let's express our embarrassment. And let's... What should we do? Talk about flowers. You know, he's a green thumb. I'm sure he likes flowers. What? Tate! Why are you slapping Harry? Maybe he's jealous. Tate, come in here and calm down, mister. Uh, unclog this. Because that's a bit gross. <laughs> Oh, bless him. I don't know why Harry just got a fight, uh, just got a slap, but apparently Tate just doesn't like him. Tell him a fairy tale. Where's Victoria? What's she doing through all of this? Let's have her grab some more plasma juice. Why are you two stuck? Harry, are you okay there, buddy? Oh, there we go. They're talking to each other now. Let's um, brighten his day again because you know he just got a slap and I'm feeling quite sorry for him. I am feeling sorry for him. Talk about gardening. They do have something in common and thank you Tate for doing that. You can also mop up that puddle and be a deer. And then you need some autumn salad because you're getting quite peckish. <laughs> Sweet. So he's got handiness because he just fixed our toilet. Stop slapping him. That's so mean. Wow, a witch. Tate just had an encounter with a real live witch. Tate could feel the magic from the witch. Where is she? Victoria, I kind of want to take you out and um, kind of like meet someone. Maybe turn them into a vampire. What's that? That is creepy. That is a little bit creepy. We're gonna go visit these people. They are our neighbours. We can always steal things from their garden. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Harry come over here and can he like harvest? Yeah, he can. We're gonna harvest some garlic. And we're gonna harvest a... Oh no, can't harvest that. What can we harvest? Harvest ghost chili. Harvest a tomato plant. Oh, we missed him on his broom. Darn it. So she's being invited inside. He's scared because she's a vampire. To be fair, I think I'd be rather scared if a vampire showed up in my house. Oh, is she going home? What's happening? Okay, fair enough. Walk out here just to invite us back inside. It's a little bit strange, if you ask me. Um, he wants to fight a fairy. Well, we are not going to be fighting our friend anytime soon. Ooh, he's flirting with us. Is he a fellow vampire? I think he is. Ooh, he is a special vamp. He is a vampire. Um... Talk about the joy of plasma. Go and do that. Because you know, if he's a vampire as well... What? You have to like plasma. 
You're a vampire. Right, whatever. We don't. He's vegetarian. Oh, great. So he only drinks orange plasma juice. Ugh, I don't like him. <laughs> um, Harry, you can stop harvesting now, buddy. You can go home. Stop flirting with us. You're a vegetarian. We're a real vampire. We have like actual plasma juice, whereas he only likes orange juice, which just doesn't float my boat. Um, let's show off our teeth. She's like, I have fangs. And so does he. <laughs> okay. Um, that's cute. So vampires can kind of like show each other their teeth. She's sleeping in her fairy house. How cute. That's adorable. Are you back home? Yeah, you can go sleep too. And then Victoria's the only one left awake. She's just introducing herself. I mean, we are living in a world of supernaturals. We do have to um, get to know a couple of people. Oh, the fairy's gone to sleep. Oh, is there only two of them in here? I was hoping to introduce ourselves to that guy as well, but apparently he's already asleep. So I'm going to have her head home, and I'm going to end this part here, guys. Thank you all for watching, and yeah, I hope you're all enjoying this Let's Play. I was, like, I just couldn't believe the response that the first part got. It was unbelievable. So many of you seem to love these sims. A lot of you are already saying, get this person with this person or have them be in a relationship. And we're going to wait a few more episodes until we let the romance start because I do want to focus more on the supernatural side of things for now. But don't worry, relationships will happen, babies will be born, and we'll have to find out what, like, whether there'll be a fairy or a werewolf or a vampire or a witch, because we have four different occults in our house, and the babies could literally be anything. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to have to keep an eye out if you do want to see those relationships. They'll be coming a little later on in the series. Like I said, I do just want to focus a bit more on the supernatural and kind of their individual personalities for sure, for now. But yeah, if you like this part, please do give it a big thumbs up as your support is awesome. And as I've just started this series, it's so, so nice to see so many of you behind it and already enjoying it. That makes me so happy. So thank you for that. And yeah, I hope you all have an awesome day and I'll speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.